Today, we're diving deep into installing Magento sample data using three different methods, command line interface, composer, and GitHub. Installing sample data is needed for testing and fine tuning your Magento setup. By the end of the video, you'll be ready to ace this task using various techniques. Let's jump right in. First up, the command line interface or CLI. It is the most straightforward method. Open your terminal and export the path to the Magento CLI. Switch to the Magento file system user and navigate to the Magento root directory. Clear previously generated classes with this command. Install the sample data module using this command. Authenticate from repo.magento.com. You'll need a username and password, which you can get from your Magento Marketplace account. After authentication, run the command to update the database. You can now verify the installation. Type in the command to initiate compilation. Use this command on the screen to deploy static view files. Access your Magento storefront in a web browser to confirm the sample data. Clear the cache with these commands. And that's how you install sample data using the CLI method. Now let's move on to the next method. Next on the list is the Composer method. It is great if you're comfortable using Composer and want a streamlined installation process. Open your composer.json file located in the root directory of your Magento setup. You'll need to add some specific code based on your Magento version. For version 2.4, you'd add code like this. Save the file and run the Composer update in your command line. If prompted for a username and password, use your Magento authentication keys. The public key will be your username, and the private key is your password. Verify the sample data installation by running the following commands. Open your Magento storefront in a browser to confirm the sample data is working as it should. Finally, let's talk about the GitHub method. Here you can use either SSH or HTTPS protocols. We begin with using the SSH protocol. The Magento sample data repository allows you to select SSH from a list and copy it to your clipboard. Navigate to your web server's docroot directory. In Ubuntu, it's typically at this location. Now, clone the repository with git clone and the copied URL. Check out the branch that corresponds with your Magento 2 repository. Move to your Magento root directory. Here, execute the following command to establish symbolic links. Alternatively, you can use the HTTPS protocol. The steps are almost the same, with slight variations. Again, visit the Magento sample data repository, but select the HTTP option this time. Navigate to the doc root directory and execute the git clone with the copied URL. Check out the correct branch that aligns with your main Magento 2 repository. Run the following command in your Magento root directory to create symbolic links. After either of these methods, you'll need to set file system ownership and permissions. Clear the cache and update the database to finalize the installation. And that sums it up. We've now covered three methods to install Magento sample data. Choose the one that best suits your needs and level of expertise. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Magento tips. See you next time.